Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new weekend vlog. This weekend is gonna be fun, so I had to vlog it for you guys. I'm about to go to breakfast with one of my friends, and then later on, I think we're gonna hit up Barton Springs Pool because it's supposed to be 90 degrees out today, and it's not even April yet, so it's gonna be fun. But this is the outfit of the day. This sweatshirt is from Amazon, super affordable. It's pretty thin, but it's really soft on the inside, so I will link it down below. This hat is the one we got at the Dell Match Play yesterday. It's technically Ryan's hat, but I was like, we're gonna share it from now on, because you guys know nude is definitely my aesthetic and then i just got some set active um biker shorts on and a set active bra and then my new favorite shoes the new balances bye sophie my little creature cutie patootie love you Just got done with breakfast at Better Half and their chai is so freaking good. Then I got a chicken biscuit, which was also so good. And it's so nice to talk to Hannah because she does TikTok too. I'm pretty sure she just hit 10K followers on TikTok. So I'll have her at down below. Um, but she talks about more like of a damp lifestyle, which is so like interesting to me. She's awesome and I've been seeing her around like at South by Southwest events. We were like at Bungalow the other weekend and I saw her from behind and I knew it was Hannah. I was like, and I was like, oh my God, Hannah. Like it's so awesome that I am just like seeing people and we were just talking about how like Austin is a small city, but like it feels big, but also like once you start to like meet people and stuff like that, like you'll see them out and you'll just feel like you're in your small hometown in a weird way. I don't know how to describe it, but like, you know, if you go to the popular spots like Bungalow and stuff like that, like you'll see, you know, people, and especially if you work at a big tech company like Oracle or something, um, that will definitely happen. Not that I've ever worked there, but Ryan used to work there, so that's why I'm saying that. Speaking of Bungalow, I'm so freaking sad because this weekend is their last weekend because Rainy Street is going to be like literally dead in what two five years they're like knocking I'm pretty sure like three to four bars on like the end of Rainy Street to put another high-rise in and it sucks because Bungalow was one of the most fun bars on Rainy Street definitely like one of my favorite and so I think we're gonna stop by tomorrow I'm hoping we like can me and my friends I feel like that would be so fun although like drinking on a Sunday I don't know about that but like I just feel like I will regret if I don't go the last day that it's open but it does really suck that like Rainy Street is getting torn down because every city has their own like 6th Street like you know Bourbon Street and NOLA or West Six, which is more of like the college bars or like the nicer bars, but I feel like no other city, at least not that I know of, has a rainy street. And if you guys don't know what rainy street is, it's basically like houses that are turned into bars, like really old houses, and they like revamp the insides. There's like a whole backyard situation, so it's a perfect place to do some day drinking because it's like a little bit of an outside indoor situation. And I am just gonna miss it so much, but I know like by the time they're gonna like demolish all of Rainy Street, which I don't even know if they will all of it, but it definitely is going to be different. I feel like by that time, you know, I'll be old enough to not like wanna go out on Rainy Street, but I feel like, you know, Rainy Street does have the older age people that go there. I feel like college kids definitely go to 6th and West, but like Rainy Street is definitely like an older crowd. So I don't know if I will get tired of it, but it, does really suck but i'm gonna go home take a chill pill definitely have some more cleaning to do if you guys saw my week in my life uh yeah my apartment has just gone to shit after south by southwest i feel like i've been go 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 and not had really much time to clean it nor had energy to clean it so i'm gonna try to do that today and then we're gonna go to barton springs pool at 2 p.m so it's 11 p.m right now i have a couple of hours to get all my shit done so I'm back home and it is time to clean this place up. If there's trash ever on our counters, it's because we forgot to take out the trash for the valet guy to pick it up and we've been forgetting like for the past two days and it's so annoying because he only comes 
I think Sunday through Thursday. So he doesn't come on Friday, obviously, or the weekend. Um, and so I'm gonna go take it out really quick. And I feel like that's definitely gonna make a big difference to get all the boxes out of the way. And then I need to work on cleaning my filming room because there's just clothes everywhere. And I was just thinking about it. Today's gonna be like the first time I'm gonna be in a swimsuit in a really long time and I'm a little nervous about it to be honest. I mean, I just got some really cute ones from Amazon. I did a TikTok haul and I will link down below my Amazon storefront. I have linked so many really, really cute one pieces. I'm so about one pieces because they just make me feel like extra secure, extra confident, but even though it is a one piece, like it's still, you know, not me wearing a sweatshirt or not me hiding behind my cardigan that I've been doing this whole winter. So I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, um, but we're gonna make do, we're gonna be confident today. And I feel like those swimsuits that I got, like I think they're gonna be perfect for today. My friend Mackenzie said that she's gonna like bring a tube to the pool cause it is a little bit deep. And I need to remember to bring my Chaco so that I could like actually walk in it. Cause it's like kind of like slippery and slimy in it. Um, so definitely bring like kind of like river shoes but I feel like it would be nice to, you know, just float in it. I feel like it's really gonna be cold. Like Barton Springs pool is freezing year round, even in the middle of June when it's super hot outside, it is freezing water. So I don't know if I'll be in the water too much. I mean, I want to be, like I love to swim, but like that cold, I don't know about that. So hopefully it gets like really hot outside so that like I'm pressured to go in. But I told Mackenzie if she like got me a pool noodle or something, I'd pay her back. So hopefully there are like them already out in the stores. I mean, it's just spring. So I don't even know if they like are carrying them right now, but let's turn on sport mode and clean this whole place. I was literally talking to Ryan the other day and it was just like, being this messy is just not very like me and I don't want to turn into this person. And I'm just like getting really worried. I'm like, okay, it's been like a couple of weeks or maybe like a week or two that it's been like this. Like what happened to me and what's wrong with me that I can't physically clean it up? Like maybe I just don't have time. Maybe I don't have the energy, but like I cannot let this happen ever again because obviously I feel like my TikTok content's been slacking because I don't have room to fucking stand in my filming room and like film the content because there's shit all over the background. So I can't let this happen again. I need you guys to hold me accountable and like keep this place clean because it's so, I mean like it's not filthy, but it's like shit's everywhere. And like how hard is it to literally just put shit back where it belongs? I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, it can't happen again. That's all I have to say. Also, whenever we leave Sophie for long amounts of time, we always put the trash up on the counter because there was this one phase in her life where she would literally knock over this black, like heavy trash can and go through the trash because there will be like leftover food in it. And I'm just like, we cannot have that happen again. So we try to just like get it out of the way. going to Barton Springs pool. This is my little outfit. Literally everything you see here is from Amazon and I'll try to link everything in the swim category in my Amazon storefront, which will be linked down below. But I was gonna wear a hat, but I feel like this is just a little bit more practical because I'm gonna wear my hair down and not get like too sweaty. I was just wearing Ryan's hat from the Dell Mash Play this morning and like this forehead area just got so sweaty. I don't know how he wears hats all the time. I'll probably vlog some on my iPhone so I don't have to take this thing in.
how was your day? Did stressful. you miss us? So stressful. Sophie, did you miss us? Yeah. We got Spicy Boys. I think that's like my new addiction. It's so good. I've told you guys many times, but they're tater tots. 10 out of 10, so we're about to dig in. And then later on, we have nothing really to do. I know I have a lot of computer work to do, so maybe I can get that done and just like get my life together. I am just so happy that I cleaned the place. Well, not everything's done yet, but I did my closet. I did the, my bedroom and then this kitchen, which was the problem, like the big problem. And it was crazy walking into this house or apartment or whatever to a clean kitchen and nothing on the counter. It was just a very different feeling than what I've been feeling the last past two weeks, but definitely a great feeling at that. So I'm gonna dig in because I'm starving. <laughs> My stomach was actually grumbling when we left the Barton Springs pool area. I just get the OG sandwich. It's kind of like an Asian fusion. And then these are the tater tots that I was talking about. So crispy and beautiful and so good. Good morning, it is Sunday, so I wore my Sunday sweatshirt from Princess Polly. Thought it was fitting. It is currently 8 a.m. I'm just waiting for a client. I'm gonna do a couple shoot this morning, and we are at Maddie's. It's a restaurant, and I love shooting here because there's beautiful trees, just definitely a more like nature-y location. And usually like my clients either want like really urban, really like city vibes, or nature. And so this is definitely one of the spots I really like to shoot at. Then today, I think me and my friends are gonna try to go to Bungalow, and they were like trying to chill this weekend, and they were just telling me like, okay, we'll probably stop by and you know check it out and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't think it's like a stopping by situation. Like you can't go to Bungalow, especially the last day, and not be at least a little bit tipsy in my mind, just because like if I was sober there, I'd be like. Uh, I need to get the fuck home. <laughs> but like I said, it is a Sunday and I don't really want to drink today. So I'm not sure if those plans will change, but I really do want to go because it is the last time and I'm just really sad about it. It doesn't even feel real that all of that stuff is getting torn down on Rainy Street. So definitely have to take advantage while it's still here for like literally one last day. This is the location of today and I have never really seen these purple flowers before, but they're like all over UT's campus and I've been having so much fun just like posing people with the flowers and I think they're so pretty. Honestly, I might come back here and like take some photos for myself because they are stunning. And then there's like this little restaurant back here, which is honestly so good, it uh, sells southern food and their donut holes are delicious my shoot went so well i honestly have a new love for morning shoots because first of all i feel like i'm a morning person usually and i just like to get things done in the morning and you feel so productive like it's 9 a.m and i just got a whole shoot done like i worked and it just feels really good and even if you're on the other side like you also feel so productive getting like photos taken early in the morning and then you can just like chill the rest of the day and then second of all the lighting is so freaking good. I showed you guys the purple flowers and the photos are so cute. I'm so excited to go home and like upload them because I feel like the photos definitely like look even better on like a bigger screen. Also, I'm very like a visual person, like my eyes are bad, so I like to see everything bigger. I get made fun of because my text on my iPhone is grandma size, so like it is large and in charge, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And that's why I have like this big ass phone because like I love to see, especially like photos on Instagram, I love to see them so big and blown up it just like is so just like pleasing to the eye for me at the light turn right onto west caesar chavez street it's 9 45 and once i got home i was like ryan get your ass up we're going to starbucks it's a starbucks day i feel like i haven't had it in a while and we used to go so often during quarantine and it was very like addicting for us. What do you think? Like that and Chick-fil-A? Like we got Starbucks more after quarantine. Well, yeah, I guess like peak, yeah, quarantine, probably not, but you know what I mean? Like still in COVID and stuff. And we would bring Sophie with us. She still has bed head going on a little bit. <laughs> She's still looking a little funky, but it is like the most perfect Sunday. The weather's perfect. The birds are chirping. And I just texted my friends. I was like, 
I really just don't feel like drinking and I feel like if we go and we're not tipsy at least like it's just not gonna be fun so I'm not sure we're gonna go to bungalow which is sad but also I just am not feeling it today um, but we're gonna go in I'll probably get a half calf because I don't need that much energy right now and then we will start our Sunday oops forgot to vlog on my last bite She's the beginning half of this vlog had like a different like color profile on my camera if you guys know cameras you would probably know or if you're into videography but basically like it's a different kind of setting for the colors so it's a little bit less saturated and the highlights are brought down now i kind of want to go back to just like original coloring so that's why the edit may look a little bit different halfway through the vlog just trying things out and just seeing what i like especially before i go to italy i want like everything to be really consistent over there so just kind of like seeing what looks best um and my hair is kind of weird it's definitely like a bit greasy today um but i am currently trying to film a voiceover um for a tiktok and my toxic trait is filming so much of my like vertical video content in the camera app and not straight on tiktok because like I always want to try to repurpose it for other things or like make other videos out of it and have that footage like forever because if you just film like a little clip in TikTok you're not going to have that little clip on its own if that makes sense. So that's kind of my mentality but it sucks because then I have to remember to actually create the TikTok and edit it together. So I have been using the app on my phone CapCut. And honestly, I always ask myself, like, how the heck is this app free? Because there is so much you can do, like, so many cool edits. And then, like, even, like, removing the background on a video. It's insane what you can do with this app. And again, it's called CapCut. Not sponsored, but I'm literally just, like, mind blown. And definitely, like, video editing in general, there is a learning curve. And with your phone, it's just so much easier to just, like, get it done. Because once I, like, airdrop the videos to my computer, and, like, I am a lot faster in Final Cut, but I wanted to kind of, like, trial run doing editing on my phone like in the app because when I get to Italy at first I didn't want to bring my computer because it's just so big um but then I was like I probably will need my computer it's gonna be like two weeks and I cannot go without my computer for two weeks um but anyways I would still really like to like edit the footage in real time post the content that I get from the day like in the night because that was another thing like when we went to Big Bend I was planning to do all these TikToks and like day in my life so what we did in Big Bend and everything like that and then I never actually edited it because I took it all in the camera app and forgot to edit it or just like time passed and I didn't do anything with it which I still could and I definitely want to it's definitely on my to-do list of things to do but basically there's pros and cons to filming in the app on TikTok and pros and cons of filming in the camera app also i find that the camera app has better quality so i like to film there but it is personal preference so i'm gonna film this voiceover and i always stutter so bad and you guys can watch me hopefully i don't stutter too bad but also i feel like in general i'm not good with words like i feel like writing is my weakness i feel like i don't formulate sentences how i want them to be like in my head i'm like thinking of this thought but I don't know how to say it sometimes which is so weird. It's been a goal for a very long time to just like try to widen my vocabulary and also stop saying like there we go I said like <laughs> but also stop saying like um just filler words and everything like that. I feel like it will really help with just talking to the camera and video editing because you don't have to cut out all of the you know filler words. Here's a day in my life in Austin. Also, it helps to smile because I just sound happier a little bit. Not that I'm like trying to be fake, but I feel like if I don't smile, it sounds like really monotone. So I feel like every like YouTuber has their like YouTube voice and normal voice, which I feel like I do talk like this, but like if I'm with Ryan, then I can be super monotone because I don't have to like be super peppy because he just like knows me well enough. Does that make sense? I don't know. Okay, let's do this. All right. Here's a day in my life in Austin, Texas. <sighs> okay. Here's a day in my life in Austin, Texas. Here's a day in my life in Austin, Texas. I got up pretty early because I had a early... Here's a day in my life in Austin... 
Here's a day in my life in Austin, Texas. Shh. It's so loud. I live like right on the street and like not that that many cars come by. Like it, it still is kind of a main street, but it's definitely a lot further down. But there's so many freaking trucks and loud fucking cars that come by. And it literally makes me so frustrated, especially when it's a nice day. Ryan will like leave the door open and the cars will drive by. And I literally want to punch a wall because it makes me so angry hearing that freaking loud motor. Not that I would actually punch a wall and I don't really have like anger management issues but just like that noise i'm like why do you do that like it's not cool you're just bothering everyone uh but i guess that's what i get living on the street now i know because our last place was not on the street there was like a little creek behind our last place and it was so peaceful but i definitely am a little bit closer to the city so you know i i kind of should have known this is gonna be a thing woke up early friday morning and went straight to ut's campus because i Woke up early this Friday morning and headed straight to UT's campus to shoot a grad. It is grad season, so I've been... Okay. It is grad season... Okay. It is grad season, so I've been there pretty much twice a day. And then I headed straight to an... The vibe here is immaculate. The weather was perfect. And then Alice, Olivia, and Gorley. Oh, First man, stop was the gift shop, of course. We got this hat. As always, I'm rushing to make this TikTok really quick before I go to Zilker to meet my friends. But I wanted to show you guys some of the Amazon fashion finds that I got recently. So first off, starting with this linen shirt. And I will put the size that I got on the screen and the price, but you can always find them in my Amazon storefront. And I will link them directly down below just to make it easier for you guys. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty large on me, but I kind of like it because it's gonna be perfect for like a swimsuit cover up or just to wear it like this. You can kind of like tuck it in a little bit more if you would like. Um, but I'm just wearing like a white bra and, and it doesn't seem to be extremely see-through, which is great. I totally forgot to show you guys the last two things, so I'm going to insert video here. It's just a Gildan sweatshirt, super affordable, very like thin almost, but super soft inside and perfect for like those summer chilly nights. And then the sweatpants, I definitely want to return and get a size up. Um, they're just like the Essentials brand. I'm pretty sure they're a dupe though, but also pretty affordable. So definitely go check out my Amazon storefront. And this is going to be my outfit for the day. Headed out to Zilker Park to meet some friends. Got an Aritzia ribbed tank on. I think these sweatshorts are from Aerie and I think they're a little bit dingy because they used to be a little bit whiter. So got to bleach them soon. And then we have this white aloe hat. And then we have Reebok shoes, which Ryan just told me I could do better on the shoes. But I don't really want to like get my other good ones really dirty. So we'll see. But... I'm excited to just chill out, bake in the sun. I literally just want to like lay down and feel the sun. But I did that yesterday and I told Ryan like today, can you itch my back? And he was like, I think you're sunburned. I was like, hell no. <laughs> Which could very well be a thing because I did get really tan yesterday. But I'm kind of like embracing it. Honestly, after college, I feel like I'm just like, F it. I am going to get as dark as I want because the sun feels so good. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to take Sophie with me too. I brought Maddie some seaweed because I brought some yesterday to Barton Creek and she was like in love. And so I brought her her own pack. <laughs> we have Jackie one too. Ty's with us. Say hey, Ty. Hi. <laughs> Louie's with us. Say hey, Louie. Aw, he kind of said hi. Sophie's somewhere over here. I don't know where she is, but. Oh. Sophie, say hi. <laughs> okay, so we left Zilker, still here with Jackie because she wanted to come on an adventure to H Mart. <laughs> Since we had that seaweed, we were like, we H Mart, yeah. H Mart <laughs> run sounds really good right now, so I'm gonna show her around. I'm probably gonna get some sushi grade fish, maybe make a sushi bowl later, and it's gonna be a fun time. Let's go on an adventure. Just went on a total hunt for the seaweed. <laughs> because I didn't know what the packaging looks we like, but we it. found it, yes. <laughs> like, out of all these seaweeds, like, how am I supposed to know which one to pick? That's crazy. It's 
currently 9.25 and I just got home. We've had such a long day and Sophie was with me for it all. I felt so bad, but I also just didn't want to go home because it was all the way on the east side and we were all going all the way up like north west maybe, lake line. I, don't, I honestly am so bad with like where things are. I just go where the map tells me. But I got the sushi grade fish, so I'm going to make it tomorrow since we got sushi at H Mart. I was just like so hungry. I didn't want to like wait and get home and then cook and literally eat at like 10 p.m. or something. So I got the sushi grade fish. I got some king oyster mushrooms, my favorite. And they are so freaking cheap there. Central Market, they are so expensive. Um, and then I got this cool drink. It says basil seed passion fruit flavored drink. And it has like the little passion fruit beads in there. And I know this probably looks weird and some people are like weirded out by textures, but I really like like weird textures. I don't know why. I guess I'm the weird one, but I'm very excited to try that out. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow in my weekly vlog. So definitely subscribe down below. I'm going to end the vlog here because I just need to get in bed and just have me time, go on TikTok, maybe find some new recipes to make this week because I think that would be fun. I don't have as many morning shoots as I did last week. So I'm going to have more of like time for myself and just like get my life together because I feel like last week was a lot. Like I said, since South by Southwest, it's been a lot and I just need to chill. And today was like a perfect day. And it was so nice to hang out with Jackie because she's been really busy too. So we haven't gotten to hang out in a while and she's like so sweet. And honestly, I want to spend more time with her because I love her so much, but she's actually literally leaving to Portugal, I think for like almost a month on Saturday. So I guess we'll just have to hang when she gets back and I need to start planning my Italy trip, but that's another story for another day. So again, subscribe if you guys are not already. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both so underscore gnarly without the G, and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.